what we were trying to do is give the ability and and I will recap it so uh, Mauricio your 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 job is easier when when you need to cut this if if we we manage to cut this into parts um what we were doing is a way to have <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> what we were doing is trying uh, to have a way so the game developers game designers artists or whatever person it uh, that needs to change this coin to have more than one coin right we said that we use a construction script for this because this needs to happen before the game starts and the construction script this script happens whenever we add some actor to the level or whenever we change a detail of, of it, a property. It can be location, rotation, scale, it can be anything from this details asset. So the way we're doing this is here in the viewport, uh, I deleted this static mesh because in the construction script, I'm creating it again by adding a, a static mesh component. Here I have already set up the cylinder, the material, the rotation and the scale so it's it's matching with the component that i have here in the viewport so i will delete this component when i compile there's nothing construction add it compile and i have it again we wanted to create more of of it not just one so we said that there were there were nodes that control the flow of execution this one would be the for loop um, in programming, the index always starts in zero. You can manipulate here to start on one, but it's common knowledge that the index is zero. So whenever you ask the first item, whenever you ask a programmer for the first item, it will be zero. Or well, it should be zero. If the last index is two, for example, I'm not running this two times. I'm running it zero, one, and two. I'm running it three times so I I had created before I crashed my computer a variable called number of coins is an integer an integer and this is the default value of one and now if I press compile I'm running this three times right because zero one and two I want to change this location uh, so I will make this transform. A transform is a type of variable that, is, that stores a vector of that stores the location, a vector for the rotation, and a vector from for the scale. In this case, the rotation is an, another color because it uses a type of variable called rotator, which is mostly used for uh, some math with rotations. Yeah, rotator, they have the, the, their own nodes. I only want to change the location though. So here I will split it and I want to change only the X axis for now. So in the index, I'm going to multiply it. Oh no, I'm going to add it. Excuse me. And I'm going to add some, some value here. Oh, let's say I want to space the, the coins by, um, by how much maybe by 50. So uh, yes, I'm going to multiply it and you see why in a minute. If I multiply it by 50, then the first index will be zero. Zero multiplied by 50 is zero. So the location will be zero. If I multiply it, uh, the, the next index is one, then one multiplied by 50 is one, then the location will be 50. And the last index is two, then this will be a hundred, right? Makes sense. Then I could compile it. I'm gonna go to a viewport and now I can see the times I, I'm I'm moving this this uh, this new static mesh component that is being created by the construction script. Right now the location is a little weird because um, I has I have not set it up here. I wanted these values and the scale like this. Whatever we do in the construction script it will not happen until we compile and this didn't save yeah. compile and there it is now we should create a variable 
for this type of spacing so let's create it i will probably want a decimal value so i will create space between coins and this will be a float i'm gonna oh when you when you drag and drip a uh, drag and drop a variable it will ask you but if you don't want it to ask you 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 can just drag and drop the variable and hold control and drop it and that will get the variable if you hold alt oops i hold the windows key if you hold alt then you will get the set variable node in this case i want this one and i want it to have a, de a default value of uh, 50. It's giving me an error because this is converting something here and I do not need to convert it because if I multiply an integer with a, with a float it will give me automatically a float. There it is. So this space now that I have hooked it up to the construction, construction script I can modify it here and it will change. Now I need to do the same with the number of coins. Uh, let me put it instance editable. And for the number of coins, I just need to add this variable here. If I put it like this, it will execute an extra an, an extra step because right now it's two. The first index is zero. Then it will run three times. We can fix it like this, like putting the first index in one. But I I really dislike that approach, so I, I'm gonna just subtract one to the total value. Is what usually is done in in programming, but you can do it however you you like. Compile, save, save again. Uh, I'll save even the widget just in case. And now here in the viewport, I can change the number of coins five, and it's not only here. This becomes an incredible tool for game designers and level artists because here well the coin value is five maybe i should have five coins so now if this was i don't know a fence or a, a light post you could create easy stuff like this and it's being executed every time the any of these variables or properties changes just to give a, a, a little bit of a of a warning if you intend to do some procedural stuff like this you do not want to add an static mesh component like this you would probably need an instanced static mesh here you define the static mesh that you need like the cylinder because like i said creating stuff is really uh, like it starts killing your performance a little by little right and this is adding new components here you only have you only need one component and just add an instance so this this approach is a lot more optimal like this one but this one is easier to understand 